Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, I have the new August release of the Colorado Craft Company and I'm going to go over these with you. I have three of the sets right here and then I think there are three more sets. I have this scrunchie on my wrist. How unprofessional. I think the other three stamp sets are on their way to me so if I get those in time I'll insert some clips here. If not, then it didn't get to me in time and I'm really sorry. Um, but let's, let's look at these. This is the Big and Bold collection. And we have this one. This one's called the You're Fabulous. And it has uh, sentiments like, dress like you're already famous uh, to my sweet friend. Thank you ever so sweetly. You're fabulous, darling. And because to me you are. And they're lined images that look hand-drawn and there's a purse and a beautiful dress and some shoes and I do have an idea for each one of these sets so stay tuned for some project sharing. Um, the next one is called Let's Go and it has this beautifully scripted let's go dot 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 um, and play has exclamation uh, have have some fun wandering for a hike so you can kind of do some word play and then it has like some clothing that I would I would wear a tank top some jeans some cut off shorts that's me for sure little backpack functional convenience and definitely the aviators and mine would be like mirrored because I'm shiny like that <laughs> so um, then we have the coffee study nap and this is like a student kind of themed one and then so they have relax you've got this that's awesome coffee study nap repeat so proud of you rise and grind and then it has like a notebook and a backpack I definitely had a backpack that looked like that I, my, I was in the 80s and we had these patches yeah so, <laughs> and my jean jacket. But yeah, they've got the coffee, the frappuccino. Perfect. So I've got ideas. Let's, let's make some stuff with this, with these sets. And before I forget, there's going to be a giveaway with six winners. So stay tuned for more information. Okay, so I'm taking a piece of Ranger watercolor cardstock and I'm cutting it down to three and a half by four and three quarters. That's just my favorite size of card panel that I like to use. I'm loading it into my original Misty along with some of the images from the Let's Go stamp set. I'm taking the tank top and the aviator sunglasses and I'm arranging them on my card panel as if they were on a body but not, they're not, there's no body there. <laughs> so I'm going to load them into the original Misty and we're going to heat emboss them. We're gonna use VersaFine Nocturne ink. First, I prep the surface with a powder, some type of powder tool. Then I, I've been sweeping with the Nouveau surface sweep. I don't know if that really helps or not, but I've been doing that, so I'm letting you guys know. Then the VersaFine Claire is a pigment ink, so I'm using that instead of black embossing powder. We're going to use clear, I think this is Hero Arts clear embossing powder, and we're going to do some watercoloring in the resist type fashion. Now you're going to see me heat emboss this here piece with my husband's heat tool, and I've used this a couple times and I think I've decided that I hate it. <laughs> So pay no attention. These are color sticks, Jane Davenport's color sticks. They look like lipsticks, but they're watercolors. And I think they're so fun to play with, super easy to use. I'm not doing anything fantastic here. I'm taking some of the color and I'm using my glass palette um, as my palette. And I'm just scribbling a, a little bit of the color. And then I'm using a Nouveau brush, a Nouveau paint brush and adding a little bit of water to it to make it the consistency that I like. And then I'm literally just painting outside of the lines here. Like I don't, I'm not trying to stay in the lines at all. Um, I want it to be really kind of messy looking. So I'm adding a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the purple and paying no attention to the lines that I just made. I love it. I love how it turned out. This is the only bit of color that I'm adding to this panel. I'm leaving the tank top plain black and white 
As we wait for this to quickly dry, let's choose some cardstock colors. I have a ridiculous amount of cardstock here, but I can tell you that I did end up choosing Stampin' Up! Highland Heather and Balmy Blue to coordinate with my painted panel there. I needed to do some more heat embossing and I did not want to use that <laughs> machine, so I found my heat tool. We're prepping and stamping with clear heat embossing ink this time, and we're going to use white embossing powder to heat emboss both the sentiments Let's Go and Wandering from the Let's Go stamp set by the Colorado Craft Company. Now, don't get me wrong, both of these heat tools are made by Wagner. They're both excellent heat tools. This one serves my purpose more accurately, and I'm just used to it, and it doesn't warp the heck out of my paper. So, that's why I choose to use this one. <laughs> now that I have both of my sentiments heat embossed, I want to trim them down. The wandering sentiment, I'm going to use my Fiskars wire guide paper trimmer and just trim a straight strip, like a rectangle. I'm gonna trim it out. This uh, trimmer has a wire guide on it that allows me to see exactly where I'm trimming. I love it, it's awesome. But the blades dull very quickly and I have to use a piece of sandpaper to file off some of those hairs. And that just does a good enough job for me and that way I'm not replacing the blade as often as I was. These are also Fiskars scissors. They're like a spring action scissors. And I'm just using those to cut around the let's go. I want it to kind of look like a word die even though it's not a word die. I do not really like my fussy cutting skills, but this is good enough for me. I'm using some foam tape and some craft foam to help pop up that front panel and also these sentiments. And then this card is complete. I actually made three cards. You can see the third card here behind me, um, but I, it was a long story. Read about it on my blog. <laughs> This third card here, um, I've got a piece of gray salty slate or some smoky slate cardstock and the black VersaFine ink and I'm going to heat emboss this as well. I'm going to do some ink blending on this panel and I wanted to make sure that this stayed nice and thick black lines. I'm also going to stamp and clear heat emboss the notebook from that same set from the coffee study nap set and do and I'm going to add some watercoloring like I did that previous card. So I'm stamping it in the black ink using the clear uh, embossing powder and on the white watercolor paper this time. So to ink blend on the background, I'm going to grab some Nouveau blender brushes and this Mama Elephant gray ink. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if this was going to be an, enough color to really change the background of this card. So I, I ended up having to use Distress Oxide and Black Soot to darken it up just a little bit more. Um, I'm also going to use that same Black Soot Distress Oxide ink to do some ink splattering on the background. To do that, I'm just going to grab an acrylic block, smash some of that Distress Oxide ink onto the acrylic block, moisten it with a damp brush and then splatter on the background and I'm doing this on a glass mat that's easy to clean up. Should have done it in my splatter box but I didn't. I'm using the same Jane Davenport color sticks but this time I'm choosing some colors that make a nice pastel rainbow. So I've got the magenta color. These will all be listed in the description box and in my blog. Um, but I'm just taking a little bit of water and it takes a good amount of water and a little bit of effort to moisten these colors. But once you do, I really enjoy playing and, and coloring and mixing colors together, especially on the glass mat. It makes it so much easier, but I'm just adding a, like a rainbow basically of colors on this notebook because what else should you color your notebook, but a rainbow. Once I finished uh, painting on my rainbow, I, it was really easy to clean up. When you're done with your watercolors on the glass mat, you just kind of wipe it up. You can add a little bit of water, a little bit of cleanser if you use any, and wipe it up. Did you think that there was going to be a video without shimmer? Uh, no. I'm going to use all three of my shimmers, my shimmer sprays, to make this notebook shine like you've never seen before. And that's exactly how it turned out, very shimmery and sparkly. And once that dries, I can add it to my card panel. I'm cutting down a large foam square uh, from Tonic Studios, and I'm adding that to the back of my notebook so that I can pop it up on my card panel. 
That card is also complete. Leave me a comment down below telling me which card is your favorite out of these three, and you'll be entered to win one of the six stamp sets being released this August uh, with the Colorado Craft Company. So leave me a comment down below letting me know which of these three is your favorite to be entered in to win. I will choose six winners in three days time. For more information, find, in, find it in the description box below or over on my blog at corinwiskman.com. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and good luck in the giveaway. Coming up next is just some family vlog footage of us at a birthday party this summer. So if you enjoy watching that part of my videos, continue watching. We don't have much time. What are we? Unprepared. Oh. We're totally prepared now. <laughs> we started unprepared. And it's still June, so we're doing good. Yeah, green those. You have glitter all over you. Where did the glitter come from? You I didn't like, buy any glitter. You look like a stripper. I do have glitter. <laughs> have fun sleeping alone. Look at that! That is so cool! <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. <laughs>